Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and today's lesson is going to be on short rolls. So these are rolls from fives all the way to seventeens, and these are double stroke rolls. So in other words, rudimental rolls. And they're all part of the standard PAS rudiments. So we're going to start out by playing each roll for you today slowly so you can see the strokes, and then I'll show you an exercise I do when I do them all together. So first we'll start with fives. So that roll is right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left. The next roll is six stroke roll. So a six stroke roll is a five with a note before it. So, and when you play that in consecutive order, it sounds like this. That can also start with the left hand. Next we have the sevens. Now the sevens start on the left and end on the right, or start on the right and end on the left. So, Now this roll is extremely common in rudimental etudes, and it can be squeezed like this. So instead of that 30-second note pattern, now we're playing very fast, almost a 30-second note triplet. All right, the next roll is a nine, and that sounds like this. And then a ten stroke roll, which is a nine with an extra beat. And again, that goes hand to hand. Next, we have an 11 that starts on one hand and ends on the other, just like the 7. Next is the 13 that starts and ends on the same hand. Next is the 15. Starts on one hand, ends on the other hand. And that can also start with the left. Next we have the 17. That starts on one hand and ends on the same hand. And it's a three beat roll. One, two, three. So that's all the rolls. Now, I like to do a little exercise when I work with my students on this to get them to play these in time. So I'll show you a little of that. I'll put the metronome on sixteenths and let's say a slower tempo, 94 for now. And we'll have them play 30 second notes like this. So the 30 second notes is this pulse. So you heard me playing fives there earlier. So if we do the fives to the sixes, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so they all stay in that 30 second note realm. So let me play through some of these for you like that. So normally I'll play through the fives each one four times, all the way to the 17s. We're not going to necessarily switch hands all the time. Sometimes, like on the sixes, on the sevens, we'll stay on the same with the same sticking. When we get to the nines and the rolls that end and start with the same hand, we'll switch stickings there. 
One, two, three, four. Sixes, sevens, nines, tens, elevens, thirteens. Fifteens, seventeens, so that's a really good exercise to do. Now, you can do that much faster, and I would recommend doing that. So, let's say we do it at 110, which is kind of the typical you know, faster march tempo. So let's try that. One, two, three, four. So you can improvise a little, move back and forth, and do more on each roll, whatever you want to do. But that's a really good exercise. It also works good for a warm-up. So you need to learn these first so you know all your rolls, how they fit into things. The next step that I do with my students is I give them some exercises to do that are a little different. So in my Three Camps book, uh, if you go to page 39, there's some roll exercises on that page that are pretty simple and they work well. There are groups of five and nine stroke rolls. So number 11 there, that's a good one to do for starting out with fives. So here's how that goes. And that's triplet based, by the way. So it's 12-8, we'll put on the triplet. And this tempo is 120. One, two, one, two. And let's play that faster for you so you can hear it uh, pretty quick. Here's 150. One, two, one, two. Good. And let's try the next one. Here's number 12. Now this mixes up some fives and nines. So we'll go back to our original tempo of 120. One, two, one, two. And again, we'll go all the way up to 150. It's important you do these at lots of different tempos. So here we go at 150. One, two, one, two. So that's that. Uh, by the way, the sticks I'm using today, uh, if you're curious, these are some reverse tip sticks that I, I use. I use these from time to time. I really love them. They have a great bounce. And they're pretty thin, like my drum set stick, that thin. So, um, you know, I switch sticks. Uh, a lot of you watch my videos. You know I use a lot of different sticks. Keeps my hands fresh. But I never use really thick sticks. I'm, I'm using usually pretty thin sticks, but with some weight to them. So these are leopard wood, and these probably weigh about 70 grams. Okay, now going on, 
there's a few more exercises in here that'll do you a lot of good. So if we go to page 41, there's an exercise here on short fives. So this one is kind of fun to do, and it's real good if you want to work on your really short rolls. So if we go again to 110 on the 16th here, here's how this sounds. And we can go faster with that. Uh, let's maybe, let's try like 132. One, two, three, four. You're probably never going to have to play fives that fast, but it sounds pretty cool on drum set if you do that, especially on the hi-hat. All right, now uh, let's go to the next one, which is a little trickier. We'll go back to 110. And now this one uses some nine stroke rolls. One, two, three, four. That's a good one. All right, so that's number 25 on page 41. Now, on page 42, we have a very difficult one, which is number 29. And these are hard because they're triplet based, so there's triplets within the roll, and you have to switch hands. So they're groups of fives and nines. So let's play this slowly for you so you can hear it. We're going to go really slow. Uh, we'll start at 90. One, two, three, four. Now, when we go a little faster, I'd say don't go too fast. A hundred is good on this. One, two, three, four. That last line is really tricky. You can do some different stickings if you want. These are just the stickings that I recommend, and they work best. All right, so those are all good exercises to do for developing your short rolls. Now, the next thing you'd want to do is maybe go to the three camps, especially the original, which all that is, as many of you know, is just a combination of five-stroke rolls and nine-stroke rolls. So if we go to that, and this can be pretty quick, and again, this is triplet based. So. All right, so that's the original three camps. Now, this can really go fast. If you wanted to go crazy, you do like 155. We'll do a little of that. One, two, three, four.
So you see there how I'm keeping my sticks really low on the doubles and I'm bringing them up. Not much, maybe about four more inches for the accents. You never ever want to do this. The, se the secret to playing doubles is to keep them low. All right, and then all your accents, just use height. And then you're using the bounce of the stick to get the accent instead of your arms. And I'm staying really relaxed when I play that. Good. All right, now the next one that we could do that's pertinent to these short rolls are the three camps, it is the three camps in five stroke rolls. So that's on page 16. So the way to do this would be um, slow first, as all of them, and then you put the metronome on sixteenths, even though this is written in eighths, those would be your sixteenths. So let's change this. So like this. So you want to start at that slow to make sure you're playing it even and that you have control. And then, of course, it can go much faster. You know, 120 is a good solid, you know, working out tempo. One, two, three, four. Now, you can go faster if you wanted to. 130. You know, as fast as you want. Just make sure you're under control and you're relaxing when you're playing. You're never tightening up. As soon as you start to tighten up, stop, go slower. You're never going to get speed by playing tight. The reason I can play so fast is because I'm always relaxed. And as soon as I get tight, I slow it down. So that's what you want to practice. That's a philosophy that you have to think about always. Never tighten up. That's your enemy. Okay. So then we go to next the next page, and we have our sixes. So we already went over the six-stroke roll. And all that is then it's going to be, um, we'll do these around 120. So... And just go through all these. Now, if you want to see these three camps played slow and then fast, I do them all on the playlist that's on YouTube, the three camps playlist. Play the whole book, basically. Okay, so that's my lesson on short rolls. And hopefully this helps you play these. Obviously, they're incredibly common. I mean, on drum set, if you play timbales, they're super common. You can do double strokes doing that stuff and it sounds great. So get those double strokes in shape. Make sure you're keeping your sticks low. Make sure you're relaxed. And also, like I always say, practice at all dynamic levels. Which is very important. All right, thanks. We'll see you next time.